Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sewing tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable notebook cover with pockets. So the things you will need is your choice of fabric. I chose these three prints but you can choose all the same print or as many as you want. I'm going to be making this to fit a composition notebook. So I grabbed the composition notebook and I measured it out. And it happened to be um, nine and three quarters by 15 inches. So now I'm going to cut my fabric out and I'm going to cut out a cover and then a piece for the lining, which will measure the same at 10 and one quarter by 16 inches. And then I also measured out a piece of fusible interface. And then I cut out four pieces of fabric and this is where the book jackets will slip into. And then three pieces for the pockets for the inside. All these measurements will be located at my blogs and the links will be down below. So if you didn't catch some of the measurements, that's where they will be. So the first thing I'm going to do is hem the top of the pockets. So I'm just going to fold it down a quarter of an inch and then sew along that edge and do that for all three of the pockets. And then once I've done that, I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Of course, shortest to the tallest. And then I'm going to place it on one of the pieces of fabric that will that is considered for the pocket sleeve part. So I'm just laying it down flat, making sure that all those pieces of fabric stay together nicely. And then I'm going to get my sewing clips. I just got these and they are amazing. And I'm going to just clip those in place just so that they don't move. And then I'm going to lay another piece of that sleeve fabric. These pieces did measure seven inches by 10 and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to clip all the way around and then I will be sewing down one side. And the side that I'm sewing on is the side that is of course next to the pockets. And that will secure all those pockets in place. Then once I'm done that, then I actually just did a quick little stitch down the other side of the pocket just to make sure that those don't budge when I go to sew the next part. So now I'm just going to finish off that edge and I'm going to sew very closely to the edge and it will just give it a more finished look. So now I'm done with this side of the book cover and I'm going to work on the other side. The other side doesn't have any pockets, but of course this is completely customizable. So if you wanted to add pockets of the same, you could on this side and you would do the first step again. So I'm just going to sew down the one side of these two pieces of fabric and then finish that edge again, just like I did on the other side. This side goes a lot faster because of course I'm not having any pockets. But like I said, if you wanted pockets, totally up to you. But I do find if you have too many pockets, then of course, you know, you're going to have a really bulky notebook. And plus, if you put things behind it, then you can't really write in the notebook because, you know, you'll have like pens or rulers or whatever behind there that will kind of interfere with you writing. So now I'm going to sort of assemble the book cover. So I lay down the book cover fabric first and then I'm going to put those two sleeves on either side and then I'm going to put down the lining fabric and I just clipped all that in place and I will be sewing all the way around while leaving a hole right in the center portion and this will be for turning. So as long as everything on the inside is positioned properly, then once you flip it right side out, it should be completely done. So all you need to do is sew up that little hole so you can do a little top stitch very close to the edge, and then you can slip it on your book and you're good to go. 
So a little tip I would say is definitely use interfacing or fusible fleece. Um, I did use fusible fleece on the book cover so I just um, ironed it on the, the cover fabric. But um, I would maybe next time use a interface with the pockets because they are a little bit loose. So that's definitely a tip for you guys um, when you go to try to make your book cover. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. All the links to my blog and my Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff is down below. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, just a heads up, I am hosting a 1K giveaway right now, so go check that out.